The Go-Kart Grand Prix, Mr. Banana's Big Win Once upon a time at Green Valley Elementary, excitement filled the air for the annual Go-Kart Grand Prix. It was no ordinary race. This year, the rules were simple. Each team had to build their own go-kart using only recycled materials. Kids were scrambling around the schoolyard, collecting old boxes, wheels from abandoned tricycles, even some funky-looking scooter handles. There were teams of every kind, and each one was determined to be the funniest, fastest, and most fabulous on the track. On Team Speedy Sprouts, we had the brainy inventor Timmy, his speedy friend Mia, and their mascot, a stuffed monkey named Mr. Bananas. Team Cheesy Chefs, led by Leo, who always had a knack for snacks, had built their go-kart to look like a giant pizza slice. No one can resist the power of cheese. Leo announced, as his teammates covered the cart with yellow foam and red pepperoni spots. The funniest team, however, was the crazy cucumbers, who decided their go-kart should look like a giant vegetable. Captain Carrot himself led this team. Let's add some veggie power, he said as his friends covered their cart in green paper, stuck a huge cucumber on the front, and added corn husks for extra style. Everyone laughed when Captain Carrot put on a pair of goggles made from jar lids and gave a big thumbs up. On the day of the race, the track was set up with cones, ramps, and a gigantic water puddle in the middle, just to add some surprise. Each team rolled their go-kart to the starting line. The principal, Miss Gertie, held a whistle and called out, On your mark, get set, G.O. And they were off. The cheesy chefs zoomed forward, leaving a trail of Parmesan flakes. Kids laughed as they saw Leo waving a giant pizza cutter like a sword. But just as they approached the first corner, their cart hit a banana peel left by Mr. Bananas, and they spun out with a cheesy S-Q-U-E-E-A-K. Meanwhile, Captain Carrot and the crazy cucumbers wobbled down the track, with corn husks fluttering behind them. Let's use the veggie boost, shouted Captain Carrot, pressing a button that sprayed cucumber-scented air freshener everywhere. But the mist was so strong that it made the other racers sneeze, and they swerved around, trying to avoid it. Just behind, Timmy and Mia on Team Speedy Sprouts were speeding up. Timmy had rigged up a special gadget, an old fan powered by a hand crank. Hold on, Mr. Bananas. Mia yelled, cranking the fan as fast as she could. The fans started spinning wildly, pushing them forward. But just then, they reached the big water puddle and splash. Their cart zoomed through, spraying water everywhere. Everyone laughed as the go-karts bumped and splashed through the course. The crazy cucumber's cart was veering left and right, making Captain Carrot dizzy. Leo's pizza cart was back on track, but now with tomato sauce splattered all over from a spill. And just as Team Speedy Sprouts thought they were about to win, Mr. Bananas flew off the cart and landed on the finish line first. Miss Gertie, still holding her whistle, looked at the monkey and announced, The winner is Mr. Bananas and everyone else, because this race was the funniest thing I've ever seen. All the teams cheered, laughing at their messy, wacky race. And though they didn't win any real trophies, they all agreed that the Go-Kart Grand Prix was the best day ever. From then on, every year, Green Valley Elementary celebrated with the goofiest go-kart race anyone had ever seen, led by none other than their stuffed champion, Mr. Bananas, wearing a tiny golden helmet.